The last poem is um, a poem called The Law Concerning Mermaids. Um, I dropped out of university when I did my first degree, but I eventually went back and did a PhD, which is a strange convoluted story. Um, so half my time I spend as a critic. And sometimes when you're doing research, um, you find the kind of information that you just have to write a poem about and you can't quite write an essay about it. And A lot of my poems do this. I think a lot of my poems are kind of criticism masked as lyricism. And this probably is a kind of example, but it was because I found out that the British Empire once had a law about mermaids, which I found kind of impressive. The Law Concerning Mermaids. There was once a law concerning mermaids. My friend thinks it a wondrous thing that the British Empire was so thorough it had invented a law for everything. And in this law it was decreed were any to be found in their usual spots, showing off like dolphins, sun bathing on rocks, they would no longer belong to themselves. And maybe this is the problem with empires, how they have forced us to live in a world lacking in mermaids, mermaids who understood that they simply were and did not need our permission to exist or to be beautiful. The law concerning mermaids only caused mermaids to pass a law concerning man that they would never again cross our boundaries of sand, never again lift their torsos up from the surf, never again wave at sailors, salt dripping from their curls, never again enter or dry and stifling world.